Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to easily record gameplay videos with Fraps. Uh, so it's F-R-A-P-S, if you haven't heard of it. It is a gameplay recording software where you can record video of gameplay or take screenshots, uh, measure FPS, and multiple things. But today, we're going to focus on how to record gameplay with Fraps uh, and to make it look the best that it can. So this is free software. Uh, if you want a watermark on your video, if not, you would have to shell out the, I believe, 20, maybe a little over 20 bucks for the registered uh, version, but I do recommend it if you are going to record gameplay because this is a great piece of software. So let's jump into it. So you're going to see a few different tabs. The first tab you're going to see is general here, uh, and under general, you'll see a few different options where you can start fraps, you know, minimized, start it when you open up windows. I really, I don't do any of that. I just always check the fraps window always on top. It uh, just makes it easier for me to get to. Uh, the next tab you're going to see is the FPS tab. This one is here for you to check uh, and test uh, FPS that you're getting from your machine. Uh, you have like hotkeys F11 or F12, which is what I have them set to. Uh, and with these, you can check the FPS, the frame times, uh, and then the min max average. So unless you're a really nitty gritty person, you may not want to mess with any of this, but the option is there for you to see uh, what frames per second you are getting with this piece of software. So let's get to what we want to all look at, which is the movies tab here, right by the FPS tab. This is going to be where all the magic happens. This is what you're going to need to set up in order to start recording gameplay from uh, your computer via Fraps. So obviously I have a video capture hotkey. Let's start from the top actually. The folder to save movies in, this is very important. I actually have an SSD uh, drive which is called my E drive uh, and this is where I'm going to save all of the movies that are recorded via Fraps in this folder. So in order to change that, you'll just go to change and then you'll just select a folder on your computer, whatever that may be. Uh, I have mine set to the SSD E drive and then uh, something that says gameplay videos. So not too creative, but it works. Uh, video capture hotkey, which is this option here. Uh, this is going to be the button that you push on your keyboard to automatically start recording gameplay. So if I open up a game, so I'm going to open up Hearthstone, so I'm opening up Hearthstone here, and I'm going to minimize fraps for just a second. If you look in the upper left hand corner of the screen, you're going to see 60, which is fantastic. I love to see that. That means 60 FPS, obviously. And then if I hit the F9 key, so I'm going to go ahead and hit F9 on my keyboard, it will turn red. When the number is red up there in the corner, it lets me know it is recording. And then I'll hit F9 once again, it'll turn back yellow. And I have now recorded a brief glimpse or a brief little gameplay video of Hearthstone here. So I'm going to go ahead and open Fraps right back up. And then if I go to view that folder that I was just telling you about right here, that little video of Hearthstone is right there in my folder. Uh, very convenient and very easy. So we're going to go ahead and close out of that folder. So that's what the video capture hotkey is. Now, underneath that, you're going to see something that says video capture settings. All right. Now, this a lot of this is going to be dependent upon what type of PC that you have and how stout that PC is, uh, whether or not you can do some of this uh, video capture settings. I have mine set to 30. FPS. Now, uh, the reason for that is YouTube can now do 60 frames per second. Not very well, but it can. But 30 FPS looks really good, and it's a really nice sweet spot for me. Uh, and you can even uh, designate an exact FPS if you want to select that option there below 30. So I'm going to leave mine at 30 and then the full size or half size. I leave mine at full size because my computer can handle it. But if yours cannot, if you're on a laptop or whatever it may be, it may not be able to, and you may have to tweak these settings here, but this is all dependent upon the computer that you have uh, loop buffer length. Don't worry about that. Leave that at 30 seconds. Uh, you can also split the movie every four gigs, which will allow you to minimize those large files. So if you're recording like a let's play video and it's over 45 minutes to an hour, you're looking at gigabytes and gigabytes of data, uh, and that's a huge file. So by splitting them up every four gigabytes by checking this box here, that will allow you to, you know, maybe piece those together and not have such large files to import into your video editor of choice, whatever that may be. Now, the next thing we're going to see here is sound capture settings. This is very important, and I want you to pay attention. Under sound capture settings, it'll say record Win 7 sound. I'm on Windows 8. It really doesn't matter. I don't think they've changed that. So if you're on Windows 8, it'll do the same thing. This means here, if you have this unchecked, it will not record any gameplay audio. So any audio coming from your game 
will not record. It'll just record the video, and that'll be very disappointing when you record hours of video and gameplay and you have no sound. Make sure you have that checked. This here is preference. You have stereo or multi-channel. Uh, I leave mine on stereo, sometimes multi-channel, depending on how I'm recording my uh, microphone audio. Uh, I'm recording it separately on my Mac right now, so I don't really mess with it, uh, but you can change it to multi-channel, and you can edit the audio and change the um, you know audio of different levels of different stuff that you're doing so leave it on stereo for now if you want to play with that later that's fine uh, record external input now this is very important too if you have a microphone so if you have a microphone you'll want to check this box here and then select that microphone normally I would have my Scarlett 2i2 audio interface here which is what I'm recording with my uh, high LPR 40 microphone right now but I actually am recording audio for this video tutorial here on a separate computer so you don't see that so all you'll see here is my microphone from my uh, Logitech C615 uh, web Cam. So make sure you have your microphone plugged in and uh, it's under the audio settings in Windows and you're, you know, it's make sure that it recognizes it and then make sure you have that checked there that you want to do that. And then if you check this box here, it says only capture while pushing space. This is kind of like push to talk basically. So if you just want to hear yourself when you push a specific key on your keyboard, you can do that and you can even designate a specific key. Uh, the last three options you're going to see here is hide mouse cursor in video. So for some reason, if you do not want to show your mouse in the video, you can check that. Uh, you can even lock the frame weight. Frame weight, what? Lock the frame rate, excuse me, while recording. So if you want to lock it at 60, which would be very uh, ambitious, uh, you could do that. If you want to lock it at 30, which would probably be a little more uh, realistic, you could do that as well. Uh, you can lock your frame rate. And then force lossless RJ, RGB capture. Uh, it may be a little slower. Uh, it, it lets you know. I don't really check that. Um, it, it, you would get a little better quality as far as the colors. But when it comes to uploading to YouTube and things like that, you're not really going to see that much of a difference. So if we have all all of our stuff set up here just like I have it set up and then we open up a game like Hearthstone which I have done here and we minimize it you should see the yellow number showing your FPS in the upper left hand corner if you've done it right what I would recommend doing is going ahead and pressing your record hotkey which mine is F9 so I'm doing that now test it a little bit record some audio and then press F9 again and then go back into that folder that we designated where the videos are going to export to and test that video before you record an hour long session and you turns to find out, which is what I did. I learned the hard way. Nothing recorded the way I wanted it to. So make sure you have your FPS set the way it should. You have a video capture hotkey and you have your audio over here to record uh, the system sound as well as your external input, which will be your microphone. And basically after you do that, you will be recording great gameplay video via Fraps. I'll put all of the download links in the description box below. You can also do screenshots, which is the next tab over here, but this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can capture screenshots with Fraps and, and do things like that. So I'll let you look into that later on. But again, all the download links will be down below. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, as always, for more tech content just like this. Don't forget to slap that like button if this video helped you out. Don't forget to help me out by going over to patreon.com slash techguru77. Donate if you feel necessary. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.